Hey guys, this is Jerry. So for this installment of how posture affects your swing, I want to talk about how people with extended posture should not have a, a high leg lift. And so when I talk about the high leg lift in your, in your stride, your gather, if you follow my stuff, you know I'm a fan of this. I'm not, somebody who says you should have your foot down earlier, whatever. But I do say that it's not for everyone and you have to have certain requirements if you want to pull off a leg lift. And those requirements are that it needs to be a tight and controlled movement. We need to have this thing under control and not, not have it control us. But some people are just going to have a hard time meeting those requirements based on their posture. And so what I'm talking about are people who are very extended in the lower back. And so what I mean by that is people who really have a lot of lower back extension. You're really pushing this forward, kind of let your gut droop. And kind of what it does is it puts us into some forward tilt of this pelvis. You know, if you look at the, my hip line, instead of my hips going like this, extended posture, I'm going to be going down like this, all right? And so again, this is a lumbar extension, and it's going to put us into some anterior pelvic tilt, all right? Our crotch is going to go tipping forward, okay? Why does this happen? For a variety of reasons. Maybe you're a high school track star, and you know, sprinters just really have this anterior pelvic tilt. You know, maybe you can back squat 500 pounds, and your coach is really cute you to really get a shelf back here. You know, whatever, whatever the case may be, maybe you have poor anterior core control and you're just letting your gut stick out and let this sag. Whatever the case may be, you may find yourself in this posture. It's actually pretty, pretty common to see a lot of guys with this high butt really sticking out, really going forward posture. Okay, why it's not a great idea to add that to a leg lift? It's because if you look at this hip and this femur, you know, for a nice neutral pelvis, and we're going to allow this thing to get up. And so if you look at a leg lift, we're trying to bring this thigh bone up and get it into some flexion. Okay, so we're trying to bring it up just like this. Well, what happens if we're extended and anteriorly tilted? So we're forward and we're down like this, okay? And so to really get this flexion point, we really have to do a whole lot of work to get into this movement, okay? To get our leg up, we have to do an awful lot. And more than likely, we're gonna do it incorrectly, okay? If I'm here and I wanna get up this way, you know, an easier way of doing it is just pushing this thing all the way back. So if you look at this, you see a lot of guys who when they do this leg lift, oh, here I go. I got my leg up, but now I'm really caving in and going forward, okay? This is something they have a hard time doing because, again, to really get this position of hip flexion, we need to, one, get into lumbar flexion and then also into some posterior pelvic tilt. And so we, we're asking them to go a long, long way simply because of their posture. Okay, my expression is your, your, your swing is writing a check, your movement can't catch. You know, you're just asking to go too far from this extended anteriorly uh, tilted position to this flexed posterior tilted position. So if you look at a lot of guys like a Donaldson or Bautista, I'm going to show you some frames of these guys. When right they're at the high point of this gather, you can really see this, this belt buckle, excuse me, this belt loop here is almost, is level or even a little bit below the belt buckle. To get into this hip flexion, they're really getting some lumbar flexion as well, okay? So again, if you're really this way, it's hip forward, it's really an awful lot to get back there, okay? So, it's just not the way you're built, you know, it's not the way where you're set up right now. To execute this movement, this is going to be extremely difficult for you. So what do you do? Well, just don't use a high leg lift. There's tons of other strides that are perfectly fine, okay? And also, you know, if, if you're a person who is in this position, Try to work a little bit out of it. You know, maybe show back squats for a while. Maybe try to just get a little bit of posterior pelvic tilt. Maybe work on your anterior core control. But in the meantime, try and execute a high leg lift. It's just not going to work. You're just not in a good position to really execute that movement. Okay, guys? So stay tuned for more of these of how posture impacts your swing.